Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just the country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Sheila got me this KitchenAid mixer as a gift here a while back, and I just bought all the little slicing and dicing attachments that come in a neat little box over here. All the blades come in there, and then you put them in this little unit right here, and it bolts on the front of this. What you do is you loosen this nut and this little cap comes off the end and then you put this unit in there all the way tighten her down now let me show you something else that I've watched so many videos on YouTube and there's something that really bothers me about this particular unit is you notice that I got the bowl sitting here locked in place most people that are running these units with the grinder, the slicer, the little shredder to make, you know, spaghetti, all that kind of stuff out of cucumbers. This, this unit here is open to the air. In other words, when you turn it on, that goes around a circle. Now, if you got a loose fit in flannel or a lady's wearing a blouse and she reaches for something and it kicks up and gets a hold of that, I just have a funny feeling that gather you in pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why they don't have some sort of a unit that clamps on here that protects that little gear from going around. But you just go on and, and punch in YouTube and look up KitchenAid mixers and look at all the different recipes as they're using these attachments out here. That little thing right there is zinging around. I don't care for anything like that. So what I did is I just put the bowl right back under there, lock it in place. It doesn't affect this attachment at all. It works just fine and nothing can get to that little gear. Now that might be a stupid tip, but I'm not going to have that thing free going around spinning. I was actually going to try to patent something that snapped on there and protected that for all the KitchenAid people out there that don't have it. But I guess you can just put your bowl in there. The main reason I'm doing this video is all the slicers and stuff, I'm all with shredders, I'm all with that. But I always wanted a dicing attachment because the cheapest commercial dicers, several thousand dollars, and Sheila and I were going to do a recipe of a product that we were going to sell at different shows and it required dicing lots and lots of onions. When I seen this little dicer on TV, I thought, I got to check this out. In fact, come on over here and let's take a look at how well it works. One thing when they designed this KitchenAid attachment, this little unit on top turns clockwise to come apart and when you set it down on there, you turn it counterclockwise to lock it. You'd think clockwise would lock it in so if you're like me and trying to figure out how come that thing won't lock in right, you have to set it down on top of there and turn it counterclockwise. And when you do this little tab over here trips that and makes that blade go because now it's covered up. This little plunger is solid at the bottom as long as you put this little piece in there. And the reason they build this in two little pieces like this is so when you sit this on top of here, you can put carrots and celery and stuff and it'll hold it nice and solid as it goes down and slices because if it was this wide, it would tumble back and forth and stuff. So we're going to put that in there and use the whole plunger. Now I got to tell you, <laughs> I was going to do this for the first time on camera, never doing it before and I kind of chickened out because I wanted to know how well it diced. And I got some cucumbers in here and some other stuff. This thing is really remarkable. In fact, you almost don't have to push down on the product. You turn it on low and watch this. Put it like a cucumber in there. Now, I will have to push it because it's kind of pinching on the sides. Whoops. Look at that. Now, I'm going to have Sheila come look at the bowl specifically now that you know what I'm feeding it in up here. Take a look at this. All right, now let me run some onions in here, which is the reason I bought this thing. Look at that, dices them up real nice. Can you see that, Sheila? Yeah. And I don't even hardly have to push at all. Look at that, dicing onions up, it's just great. And they say the harder that the product is, turn it up some. And I noticed it kind of pulled the motor down. So I'm going to turn it up just a notch. Let me do another cucumber in here. In fact, I'm going to turn it up faster. There we go. 
Look at that, just peels it right through. I'm going to slow it down for a red pepper. Let me cut this thing in half. Isn't that pretty? What a way to make a salad. What I thought would be the best thing to own one of these for is in the fall when your garden comes in, man, I like to dice up my peppers before I put them in a bag instead of just chucking them in there like in big halves and then thawing them out when I'm going to do soup. And they're kind of, because they've been frozen, and not, not really rubbery, but they just don't cut up as well. I thought, wouldn't it be nice? You throw a green, and I'm not even, I don't even, the plunger's over here, folks. I'm not even pushing it down. It just eats them right up and just dices them up nice. Let me throw a squash in there and see what it does. Wow, look at that. Zings it right out. Now, I want to do some potatoes, but I don't want potatoes in my salad, and I don't want cucumbers in my soup, so I'm going to use a different bowl here. I'm going to turn this up some and see if it'll do potatoes. Look at that. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even using a plunger. I'm just dropping it in there. Look at that. Dice them up. Isn't that slick? Man, you want some fried potatoes. What a way to cook them up where they don't take long to make fried potatoes on the stove. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of these and drop them in. I'm going to put these in recipes here in the next couple of days. Think how slick this is going to be in the fall when you take all your peppers and just cut the top and the bottom off. Reach inside here like this. Make three simple cuts. That falls out and it's empty, just like some other ones that I have did. Then all you have to do is just cut these in half and kind of fold it like that to drop it in here. Boy, that's so nice. I love this dicer. Take the bottom chunks, just drop them right in there. Now the top part, you can just break this right off and throw the stem away and chuck the rest of it right in there. I think that's slick. I'm going to free, bag and freeze some of this tonight. But as long as I got this here, I'm going to go ahead and do these onions as well. We're going to have a salad tonight. And I might put some of these veggies in with my soup, which I'm going to make out of the potatoes. But there it is. Look at how nice that just dices everything. If you just did all your peppers or cucumbers or whatever and froze them in the freezer, what a nice way to freeze them so when you bring them out, they're ready to go. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm having too much fun with this thing. I love this little dicing unit. Man, we're going to have a salad tonight and freeze a whole bunch of this stuff. We're going to have some fried potatoes tonight, some soup tomorrow with potatoes already diced up. I love this unit. And forget the garden. What about the next time they put bell peppers on sale at Kroger's? You can get like, what is it, three or four or five for a dollar a piece or something like that. Nice big red bell peppers. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of them, chop the top and the bottom off, hollow them out like I do, cut them in half and run them through this dicer. I hope this has been a good recipe for you. Not really a recipe, but more of a tip. But if you would like to subscribe to our channel, and we hope you do, Little Shotgun Red's face is going to pop up over here in just a little bit. When it does, if you check on it, it'll put a little check mark next to subscribe, then you're a subscriber. But YouTube doesn't send you every single video that we make unless you go right next to that word subscribe. There's a bell there. If you check on that, it'll give a notification box. It'll drop down. You got to click that little cube there and hit save. Then you'll get every single recipe that we put out. And we hope you do that. And by the way, also share it and give it thumbs up and do all that kind of stuff. Over here, we're going to put up another recipe that we hope you really enjoy. And is this the slickest little dicer unit that bolts right onto your KitchenAid mixer for the price that you could ever buy? I think it is. In fact, if it ain't, it ought to be. Say good night, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. See you next time. We're going to go in the kitchen and have a salad and some fried taters 
and all because of this. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now.